my name's Penny Wilson and I'm from Getting On Board. I want to talk about the barriers that we commonly put up to potential trustees, which really means that we close the pool of trustee applicants. So some of the things that you might think about removing as potential barriers to your, to your trustee applicants. First of all, do they really need to have board experience? Now, in some cases, the answer to that is going to be yes, because perhaps your other trustees don't have as much trustee experience as you would like them to. But in many cases, if they're joining a board which is made up of, of people with lots of trustee experience, you can teach them, they can learn how to become a trustee. If you're restricting your applicants to people who've already been trustees, we know that that pool is um, two thirds over 50, that it's only 36% female and that it's only 8% people of colour. Secondly, do they really need to have a degree? Um, I'd say in almost every case, no. Thirdly, do they really need to have a detailed understanding of charity governance? Um, that's a term that's very often in trustee adverts and in role descriptions. And of course, yes, they do need to know what they're signing up for, but do they really need to know all the ins and outs of charity law? Or actually, is that something that can be incorporated into their induction pro program? Next, if you're advertising for certain skills areas, use things like at a senior level or strategic experience. Use those terms with great care because people often count themselves out when they see a description like that, even if they're people that are actually precisely the kind of people that you would really like to apply. Then think about some of the practicalities. So do your trustees um, really need to meet somewhere where people without public transport wouldn't be able to get there? Um, what time do you meet? Is that going to be difficult for people with day jobs? Um, do you make it easy and discreet to pay expenses, to pay travel expenses? And then lastly, and this is probably the most contentious, if you're advertising and you want to put that the time commitment is really very high, then does it really have to be the same for all of your trustees? Or might it be that some of your new trustees who've got phenomenal experience in particular areas that you need, that actually you could get, you'd have that expertise without them putting in as much time commitment as other trustees. And of course, this is contentious because that might not be acceptable to all of your trustees, in which case you, it's not a barrier you could remove. Have a look at Getting On Board's Trustee Recruitment Guide for more information, which is available from the Directory of Social Change and electronically from Getting On Board. And also see our new guide to how to become a charity trustee.